Ladies and gentlemen, welcome along. It's day 18. It's team 18. We are getting so close now towards the end and towards the start of Euro 2024. And today we have Slovakia. And the first thing to note when it comes to looking at the history of Slovakia is there is a major disparity from when they were under the auspices of Czechoslovakia to where they are now as an independent nation. As Czechoslovakia, they were a regular at both World Cups and at Euros. And in fact, they were the winner of the 1976 European Championships and a runner-up at the World Cup in 1962. As independent Slovakia though, attendance at these competitions has been far more sparse. They've made only one World Cup since the start of the 90s, but this will be their third Euros in a row. In terms of how they qualified though, they finished in second position behind Portugal, but crucially ahead of Luxembourg, Iceland and Bosnia, who all participated in the playoffs. They started a little slow in the group, but they soon got into their groove. Although saying that, they never had a chance of catching perfect Portugal, who won every single match in qualifying. Their coach is Francesco Calzona, who was hired after the disappointment of the 2022 World Cup qualifiers for Qatar. He has masterminded a comfortable qualification to Euro 2024. And in fact, he is duly leading Napoli, who sacked their manager back in February, and he has been their interim ever since. In terms of players to watch, their main man is their captain, Milan Skriniar, the centre-half. He has high-level experience having played for a number of years with Inter Milan and more recently at Paris Saint-Germain. He is a winner of both Serie A and of Ligue 1 now, and he has a chance of winning the Champions League this season at the time of recording. In terms of their star man, I'm looking at Stanislav Lobotka, who was magnificent back in the 2022-23 season under Spalletti at Napoli. The pint-sized passer has dipped in form a little bit, but if he can get himself going ahead of this one, he could be one of the players to watch. And of course, he is already managed by the Slovakia manager at club level now, as they are both at Napoli together. In terms of one to watch, I'm plumping for Thomas Suzlov of Hellas Verona in Serie A. He made his Slovakia debut at just 18 years old and already has 25 caps aged 21. The intrigue to see is whether he can dislodge 80 cap man Robert Mack, who usually plays in the right wing but is now playing in Australia and that may see him dislodged from the start in 11. In terms of other observations for this squad, they could potentially be the only national team at this tournament to have no domestic playing players. In terms of how they line up, the 4-3-3 is what is commonly seen from this Slovakian side. Martin Dupravka is likely to get the call in net, despite his limited playing time this season in the Premier League. Lobotka will be expected to play as the anchor in midfield, as he does for his club side, Napoli. In terms of their expectations for the tournament, they will hope that maybe with this group being a little bit weaker, and Belgium especially being a little bit weaker than normal, that perhaps they can go for top spot. In terms of what I think will happen is I think they're going to finish second behind Belgium, qualify for the last 16 where they will face France, and unfortunately they will send them a pack in. In terms of their odds, they are sitting at 500 to 1, which is far, far too high, but I don't think they're going to be winning the tournament anytime soon. But that rounds it up then. Let me know your thoughts on this Slovakian side. And if you have missed any of the previews, check the playlist next to me right now to catch up. But for now, guys, I will see you very soon for our next one, which will be Romania. Take care.